Lisa from Paint Party LI. We're going to be recording tonight. Um, so if for some reason you lose Wi-Fi or you can't get back in, um, you can get a copy of it and then you can paint along at home, okay? And it's usually available right after the class. It'll send the link to the library so you can request that. Okay, so we are getting started by painting the background. And when I do this, I'm going to wet my flat paintbrush first. So you have two paintbrushes, a little pointy one and then a flat one. So we're gonna grab the flat paintbrush first and we're gonna be painting the whole background with the flat one, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white paint. I'm dipping my brush into the white paint. Now I only wanna dip into the white paint with a clean brush so I don't get any other colors in there, okay? So you may wanna take one of the lids of your paint and keep that handy so we can do a little mixing on that, okay? So you're gonna grab a little white and a little blue and put it right on the lid, this way you can mix it. And we're gonna paint that all the way across, okay? And I'm gonna do the entire canvas with that white and blue combination. Now, if you have a paper plate that you wanna grab to mix a little bit of paint on, you can do that. Otherwise, again, you can use the lid of the paint that came with it and just mix a little blue and white together. And we're gonna paint the whole background. Okay, so I'm going back and forth like this. And I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. So I'm making sure my brush has a little bit of water on it. I dipped into there. And I'm painting all the way across, just like this until I get all the way down to the bottom. I'm using that flat brush, okay? So I grabbed a little white and blue together. Remember, you don't wanna put your paintbrush in the water, I mean, in the white paint with a different color on it, okay? So if you're going to dip back into the white paint, you wanna clean off your paintbrush first, okay? So what we're gonna do is paint all the way down to the bottom. Again, I have blue and white. Okay, and I'm going to bring this color all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. Dipping my brush in a little bit of water every once in a while just to keep my brush nice and wet. And you wanna put the paint on nice and thin, okay? You don't want any really, really thick spots here. And it's okay if the background is streaky like this. It doesn't have to be one solid color. It's just a mixture of blue and white together. Okay, and I'm doing the entire background with blue and white. Okay, and going all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so again, if you have any questions at any time, you can take yourself off mute and ask. I'm happy to answer for you. Okay, but otherwise I'm dipping my brush in a little bit of water every once in a while to keep it nice and wet. I'm mixing a little blue and white. And again, you can do that in the lid of one of your paint um, paints. You can just take the lid off and mix it right in there. Or you can do it on a little paper plate. And you're just taking a little bit of blue and white. And again, I'm using a very thin amount of paint. And I'm just dipping every once in a while in a little bit of water just to keep my brush nice and wet. Okay, so I'm going a nice thin coat all the way down to the bottom. And I have blue and white paint on my paintbrush. Okay, you wanna make sure all those little spots are covered up that you don't have any big parts of the canvas that are showing through. Okay, when I get down to the bottom, you see I have a little spot here that's all white. I'm gonna clean off my paintbrush. Now take your time getting down there, but just peek up here real quick. I'm gonna clean off that flat paintbrush. 
and dry it off on my paper towel. And then I'm gonna grab some straight white and I'm just gonna paint a little hill right at the bottom. I'm going right over the blue paint and dragging some of that into it. But I just want it to be lighter than the rest. So I'm dragging in and I'm using that white paint and I'm making a little white hill at the bottom. Okay, so we're filling in the entire canvas with blue and white mixture. And then I'm cleaning off my brush and I'm doing white paint right across the bottom, brushing it across the blue a little bit so that it blends in a little bit and pull some of that blue in there. But it looks like I have a little bit of a hill right at the bottom. Okay, so take your time getting all the way down to the bottom. Again, I mixed blue with a little bit of white and I filled in the whole background. I got a little bit of blue and white in the entire background. And then I'm gonna put my paintbrush in the water. Okay, as soon as you're done painting that blue, you're gonna put a little white right at the bottom, brush it across, and it's okay if you drag some of that blue into it, and we're gonna make a little hill with the white at the bottom. And then the paintbrush goes in the water. We'll be cleaning it off and drying it off for the next step. Okay, so blue and white in the background with your flat brush. And then a little white hill at the bottom, a little snowy white hill. And then you're cleaning off and drying off the brush. When you clean it off, you wanna tap it down gently and make sure it touches the bottom of the cup and gets all the paint out. And then you're going to wipe it off on your paper towel. Make sure you don't have any more color in there. Okay, and you can leave it out for the next steps. When I start seeing paint brushes going down, getting cleaned off, then we'll move on to the next step. So you're gonna go ahead and fill in your entire background with that blue and white. So it looks like you're still painting. So I'll give you a few more minutes. Again, it's blue and white together. And then I took, I cleaned off my brush. I grabbed some white paint and I brushed it right across the bottom. So it still pulls some of that blue in there, but it makes it nice little white hill at the bottom. And that's where we're gonna put our snowman on top there. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're going very thin with your paint. You wanna make sure every once in a while, look from the side, make sure there's no big thick spots. If you see a thick spot of paint, you wanna take your paintbrush, spread it out a little bit. Make sure it's not super thick. Okay, and then once you put that little white hill at the bottom, we're cleaning off and drying off the paintbrush. Okay, so blue and white background, white hill at the bottom, cleaning off and drying off your flat paintbrush. We're gonna be putting all these fun streaks in the background next, okay? So when you're done doing the whole background with the blue and that little piece on the bottom is white, you're gonna clean off your paintbrush and dry it off. We'll be putting some streaks in next. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you have the background painted. Okay, that's a thumbs down. <laughs> okay, yep, I'll give you a few more minutes to finish up. Okay, so again, I'm just going to keep repeating myself. So if you're questioning what you should be doing, 
It's a blue and white mixture all the way across, going almost all the way down to the bottom. And then you're gonna clean off that flat brush, grab a little white paint, brush across and make a little hill. So you see I made one side a little bit higher. And I'm just putting a little white paint in there and mine blended in with the blue too, and that's totally fine. It just should be whiter than the rest of it, okay? And I'm putting that little hill in and then I'm cleaning off and drying off that flat brush really well um, for the next steps. You wanna make sure the paint is out of your brush. Okay, so take your, start seeing paint brushes stopping. That's when we'll go on to the next step. Some of you are professional and have easels at home. <laughs> They're so intense, so nice. <laughs> I love the background there. You got a snowy background. Is it Ari? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have a, you're outside painting. It's a little chilly for that tonight. <laughs> okay. So when you're done, your paintbrush gets cleaned off and dried off. And remember, nice, easy way to do that is you're going to tap your brush down to the bottom of the cup when you clean it, just gently tap it down. That loosens up all the bristles of the brush and gets all the paint out. And then you'll just dry it off, make sure that there's no paint off of that, okay? We're gonna start putting some of these little swirls in next. And that'll be the next step. So we're trying to make the background look like a gusty snowstorm, like a windy, gusty snowstorm. Okay, so when you're done painting that blue in, again, you're cleaning off your brush, you're adding a little white hill at the bottom. And then making sure your brush is nice and clean. Okay, I see some brushes getting cleaned. We're getting close, we're getting close. Okay, so if you are um, not quite done with your background yet, just take a peek up here. I'm going to get the kids started who um, are finished because I see there are some that finished and I don't want you sitting around doing nothing for too long. So we're going to grab um, that flat paintbrush cleaned off with a little bit of white paint. Okay. And what I'm going to start to do is put these little gusty, windy snow pieces in. So watch me first and then you'll do the same. Okay. So I'm going to start um, towards the top and I'm going to probably do three of them. Okay. So I'm taking a good amount of white paint and you'll see I have a lot of white paint on there. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna kind of curve it right across my canvas. That's my first piece of wind and I'm gonna brush back and forth over it so it can blend in with my blue in the background a little bit. But that's my first gust of wind. And I don't want it sitting completely on top of dry paint. So um, I want it to blend a little bit. So again, once I brush it on, I'm taking my brush and I'm going back and forth just like this, brushing it in to the blue. Okay, so that's my first gust of snowy wind going across. When you're done with that, we're gonna do two more, okay? I'm gonna do one right underneath it, kind of curving the other way, but however yours is curving is totally fine. So again, I have a good amount of white on my brush, right? I, I loaded it up and I'm brushing it across, and then I'm just gonna brush across it maybe three or four more times so that it starts to blend into the background. That blue in the background is still kind of wet, so it'll kind of just mix together. Okay, those are my two first gusts of wind there. And I'm gonna do my third one, and then I'll let you catch up on that. Okay, so I'm doing one more down here. Again, it's a different curve, just kind of adding a curve in there. Once I put my little line, I'm brushing across it. Just like this. Okay, so now I have three. One, two, three. Stripes of that white, gusty wind. And then I'm going to clean off my brush. So I'll give you some time to catch up on that. And I'm cleaning off my brush again by tapping it gently down to the bottom of my cup and then wiping it off on my paper towel. OK, 
Okay, so I'm doing three stripes of that wind and brushing back and forth across of that, across them. And that's just plain white with my flat brush. Okay, we're not gonna use that little skinny pointy brush until we start getting into some of the details on the actual snowman. We're gonna be using that flat brush for most of it. Okay, so we're doing a streak. Again, it went like this with white paint went across and then I brushed across it a few times just to kind of blend it in. I did another one underneath. You don't have to have all your waves going the same direction. They can kind of go up and down, however you want them as you go across your canvas and brushing across a couple of times just to get that paint to blend into some of that blue a little bit. Okay, and then I did one more down here. There's a third one and I brushed across back and forth a few times. Okay, so that's three gusts of wind brushed back and forth to blend it in. So even though I used a lot of paint on my brush, I, I, I brushed it back and forth to blend it in. So it's not a really thick amount sitting on top. You wanna make sure that the paint doesn't look super, super thick on there. If it looks globbed on a lot, you wanna take your brush, brush across and kind of just blend it a little bit. Okay, so when you have those three stripes, you're cleaning off and drying off that flat brush. We're going to be putting some dark blue next to it. Okay, so dark blue is going to be going next, but take your time doing the white paint. And I'm going to give you a couple of minutes with that. So we've got all the white streaks of wind in there, cleaning off, drying off my brush. And now I'm gonna show you what color we're doing next. So I'm dipping into that dark blue, make sure you're dipping into the dark blue and not the black, okay? And I'm gonna go right above this little streak right here and follow the same shape of it, just like that, okay? So some are getting light, some are dark. So we have the white there. Now I'm gonna go in right above this one. So right on top of all of the stripes that you have, you're going in with dark, just like this, and brushing that in. Okay, and I'm gonna do my third one here too. So I have one, two, three. So I'm doing one, two, three with the dark, just like this. Okay, and I'm following the same shape of my gust of wind. Okay, so I'm going in with dark, right by the white. Okay, and then you're going to clean off that brush. You're gonna tap it down really well to the bottom of the cup, get all the paint out. We're gonna start on our snowman in just a couple of minutes, okay? So again, the white streaks, one, two, three, that's all your wind in the background. And then I did dark blue, one, two, three, right above that. And then I cleaned off and dried off my brush. Okay, we're gonna be painting that snowman in next. When we do that, I'm gonna switch to the tiny brush to draw it in. And then we're gonna go back to the fat brush, the flatter one, and fill it in. So what I want you to do is make sure both of those paintbrushes right now, when you're done doing the streaks in the wind, 
make sure that both are clean. Okay, I'm gonna clean off and dry off my flat one and leave that off to the side. If you didn't dip your skinny one in water yet, you wanna dip it in a little bit of, of water just to get a little bit on there and then tap it on your um, paper towel so that it's a little bit damp, but it's not dripping wet with water. Okay, we're gonna be using the white paint next and we're gonna start drawing in that snowman. So when I do it, I'm not gonna start yet. When I do it, take a look at this one. He looks like he's blowing back, right? So I'm gonna hold it up close to the camera. It looks like he's blowing backwards from the wind, right? So that's how we're going to draw it in, tilted backwards. So it looks like this wind's kind of blowing him over. Okay, so I'm gonna use my skinny brush now. I have my flat one cleaned off and dried off sitting on the side of the table here. I'm gonna fill in my snowman with white. Okay, so I'm taking some white paint on the skinny brush. And right on this hill over here that we did, I'm gonna to start to draw in on top of that, my snowman that is tilted back. When I do that, I'm gonna hold my skinny brush real close to the bristles like this, like a pen or a pencil, okay? This way I have really good control over it. So when I start drawing it in, I'll be able to get a nice clean line. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is make an oval, like a, kind of like an egg shape that's tilted back a little bit. Okay, so I'm just making an oval that kind of looks like an egg shape with just white. And it's okay if it blends in some of your background color. We're gonna go over this and give it a second coat once it's more dry, and then you'll be able to cover it nicely. So it's okay if it's dragging some of the blue throughout. Okay, so I did this big egg shape sitting here. And now, doesn't matter what size it is. If yours is much bigger Sorry, or I much smaller here. than mine, my Siri on my phone just picked up my voice and was talking to me. <laughs> so we're doing um, an egg shape with the white right on the bottom. And again, I'm not going to fill it in yet. I'm just drawing it with a skinny brush. And now I'm going to make a circle that's on top. But when I do that circle, remember he's tilted back, right? So he's tilted back like this. So I'm going to do the head just a little bit further, closer to the edge here. So let me hold that up real close to the camera so you can see. You see how he looks like he's tilted back and he's leaning towards the edge of the canvas there? So it's just an egg shape with a circle on top. Right, and I'm just making that egg shape just like that tilted back towards the edge of the canvas. Once you have that drawn in like that, you're gonna put that skinny brush in the water. We're gonna take the flat brush and we're gonna start to fill it in, okay? So with white paint, and again, it's okay if some of your blue drags into there, our second coat, this is the first coat that we're putting on, our second coat when, when we're done doing some other things, will cover it really nicely. So I'm doing some white paint and I'm going filling in very thin amount of paint. You don't wanna to go too crazy with that. You want it nice and thin. And I'm filling in that entire egg shape oval. Okay, so just like this. And now I'm going to fill in the circle for the face. So again, I'm doing it thin. It's okay if it drags in some of the blue and your snowman looks a little blue. When we put the second coat on him, he'll be super white, okay? So you'll see I dragged a little bit of it in there too. It's got like a little tint of blue in there, but you wanna go thin with the paint. Don't go too thick, okay? And what you don't wanna do is rub back and forth too many times trying to fill it in because then you'll get the blue paint behind it even more wet and you'll rub that all into the snowman. He'll be totally blue. Okay, so I have a nice thin coat. I'm gonna go back to my snowman in a little bit and give him some more white paint. Okay, I'm going to clean off my brush now. Clean it off and dry it off, my flat brush. When you're done doing that, you're cleaning off and drying off your skinny brush next. 
Okay, so I want both of them cleaned off and dried off for the next step. We're gonna start drawing his big top hat in with the black paint. So right now we just have our first coat of our snowman, which probably looks a little blue and that's okay. You're gonna clean off and dry off your flat brush and you're going to clean off and dry off your skinny brush. The skinny brush is the one we're gonna use next. So remember when you clean it off and dry it off, we're gonna be holding it like a pen or a pencil very close to the bristles. Okay, and we're gonna grab a little black paint next. So when we do this hat part, um, we're gonna put the brim of the hat in first around his head. And the brim is the part that just goes right above his face, this little part right here. Okay, and then we're gonna draw this top part in. So when you're done putting your snowman in, you're cleaning off and drying off both paint brushes. I'm going in with a skinny brush and some black paint. Want to make sure that you're holding it very close to the bristles like this. And what I'm going to do is make what looks like a headband first, okay? So I'm going to go right along the top of his head, right over it. Just like that. Okay, so that's so I don't overlap it right over the snowman's face. I'm doing a little black headband first. Okay, and now watch me. So what I'm gonna do is make this piece right here. So I'm going to come up like this funny little shape right here. Almost looks like he has a, a funny hairdo, right? But what I'm doing is drawing in this piece of the hat, the bottom part of the hat that sits right above his head. Okay, so I'm making this little part right here. It's like a big fat headband. Okay. And now I'm gonna draw the top part of the hat and then I'm gonna fill it all in with my flat brush. Okay, so when I do the top part of the hat, I'm doing two lines that come up and then one curved line right over it. So I'm making a little top hat right there. Okay, once you have this shape in there, you can go ahead and use your flat brush and fill it all in. Okay, so I used my skinny brush and now I'm putting it in the water. I'm switching to my flat brush and I'm just gonna very gently paint in all of that black paint. While we're doing this, all the white of your snowman is getting nice and dry. And we'll be putting another coat of paint right on top of that when we're done. So it'll become nice and white. So if your snowman looks super blue, we'll be making it very white right after that. Okay, so I'm painting in that fun, big giant top hat. Okay, and then I'm gonna clean this flat brush off really well. The reason why I want to clean it off really well this time around is because I'm going to be using it for white paint. So I'm tapping it down to the bottom of the cup, getting all the paint out, right? Make sure you get it all out of there. You don't want any black paint in there. And then you're going to wipe it on your paper towel to make sure that there's no black paint coming off. If there's more black paint coming off, you want to go back into the water and clean it off and dry it off. Okay, so right now I have my snowman painted in first coat, gave him a little black headband, and then this little piece here that's going to be the brim of his hat. And then I did two lines up and a curve for the top part of that top hat. And then I put my little brush in the water, switched over to the flat brush, grabbed some black paint and filled all of that in. Okay, so give me a thumbs up if you've got your hat painted in. All right, nice. We're almost all there. Perfect. Very good. Okay, so if you're finishing up that hat, you want to just switch to your flat brush, fill it all in. And then it's important that you clean off and dry off that flat brush to do some white paint next. We're going to do another. See you with your thumb, Max. <laughs> 
So you're gonna take um, a nice clean, dry brush and we're gonna grab some more white paint. If you're finishing up the hat, that's okay, take your time. I cleaned off and dried off my flat brush and I'm gonna grab some white paint. And what I'm gonna do is a very thin coat of white right on top of that last coat. If your paint is super wet and really blue, there's a couple of things you can do to fix it. One, you can blow on it to get it nice and dry. Or two, if mom or dad is close by and they have a hair dryer that they can use, they can come and blow dry it for you to make sure that that dries really well so that you can cover it with white paint. Okay, so that's only if your paint is kind of thick and it's blending into all of that blue paint, okay? Because your second coat on the, on the snowman should be pretty solid. If it's not looking solid, you wanna make sure that you dry it first, which means either you're blowing on it or maybe you have a paper plate and you're fanning it or you're fanning it with something to dry it. Or mom or dad can grab a hair dryer if it's really looking wet, if you put a lot of paint on there and just give it a quick blow dry so that when you do your second coat, it gets nice and solid white, okay? Right now, I just have the egg shaped body and the round head. We're gonna be giving him some arms next. Okay, so once you're done doing the second coat on your snowman, you're gonna clean off and dry off that skinny little brush. Make sure there's no black paint left on it from when we painted the hat. Really wipe it off on your paper towel, get it nice and clean. We're gonna be using white to put the arms in next. Okay, so I have the body, I have the head, he's got a top hat, flat brush is in the water, skinny brush, cleaned off, and now it's got some white paint on it, okay? So I'm gonna do the arms, and when I do his arms, I'm gonna do his arms up like this, so it looks like he's blowing back from all the wind, right? Excellent, just like that. So here I go. So I'm gonna do one arm that kind of comes up and let me show you up close. So I'm just kind of drawing his little arms in just like that. Okay, so when I do it, I'm gonna just give it an outline first on both sides and then I'm gonna fill it in. Again, it's okay if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. Maybe yours has big giant arms or little tiny arms. Once you put the arms in there, you're going to fill it in in white paint. Okay, so I've got white paint that I took on my little brush and I did big giant arms. Uh, Max, I might need to see yours, judging from mom's face. Can we hold up Max's? Let's take a look, see. If you wanna show me your painting, feel free to hold it up. Yes. Yes, that's a serious arm, Max. He's, he's really, he wants to hold on and really keep from blowing over with that snow, right? Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Oh yes, very nice, very nice. Oh, these are looking so good, very good. Okay, so once you get your arms in there, you're filling them in with the skinny brush and you're going to get white paint all inside there. Okay, filling in those little arms with the white paint and then we are cleaning off and drying off the brush. Okay, we're gonna start doing the face next of the snowman and we're gonna use the little skinny brush for that. So once you get your arms painted in, you're cleaning off and drying off skinny brush. Garage door. Okay, so cleaning off and drying off that skinny little brush. We're gonna be doing the face next. And actually when we do the eyes, I'm going to flip that skinny brush around and use the handle. So we're not gonna use the bristles this time. So you wanna make sure your brush is nice and clean and dry. You're gonna flip it around 
and we're going to use just the end right here with a little bit of black paint. Okay, so watch me first. When I take the black paint, I'm going to give him a little eyeball. When I do it, I'm just going to roll it around a little bit to make it a little bigger than the little tiny dot that's on there. So if it's super tiny, I'm just going to hold it up close so you can see. Okay. And then I'm going to do the other one right next to it. And you'll see that I'm just kind of rolling around so you can make it a little bit bigger. Okay, but I'm using the stick part, the handle of that paintbrush. Okay, and then I'm wiping it off. Oh, his eyes look a little angry. I'm going to fix that a little bit. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm giving him round eyes and then make sure that you wipe off the stick. Okay, so the handle should get totally wiped off. I'm going to go in with the skinny brush next. And some orange paint. So you have a little cup of just, and it probably looks almost red, but it's orange paint. You can even add a little bit of white to it if you want it a little bit lighter. So you should have one with red and one with orange. Okay. So I have some orange paint here. And what I'm going to do is make a little tiny carrot. So remember when we're doing details, so we're using the bristles again on the brush. We use the end of the stick for the eyes. And now I'm using the bristles. So I'm going to hold it real close to the bristles like a pen or a pencil. And I'm going to make his little nose pointing towards me over here on this side. I'm just making a little tiny carrot nose. Okay, so I have two little black eyes and an orange carrot nose. When you're done putting the nose in, you're going to clean off and dry off your brush. Okay, so I have two black charcoal eyes. I have the little orange carrot nose painted in there. I did the nose with the bristles and I did the eyes with the stick. Okay, we're going back to the handle, to the stick of the brush again. And we're gonna use some black paint. We're gonna put the mouth in this time. So you'll see what I did was just make dots in a little smiley face, okay? So I'm using the stick of the brush to make the little dots. And I'm gonna make a little smiley face. It does not matter how many dots you have. Just make him have a little smile like that. Okay, so I'm using the stick of the brush, the handle of it. I used the little black paint and I made a little face there. And now I have more black paint on that handle and I'm gonna give him three little buttons that go right down the middle of his belly. Okay, and I'm using the handle of the brush still. So I'm going one, two, and this one I'm rolling around so I can make them a little bit bigger. Okay, one, two, three. Little charcoal buttons on the front of his belly, just like that. Okay, so we use the handle, the stick to make the eyes, the mouth, and then the buttons on the belly. When you're done with that, again, you're gonna wipe off the handle of your brush. You're gonna be doing a few more things. He's gonna get a scarf, He's gonna get a little silk stripe right across the top of his hat. And that's going to be in red. So we're going to be using the red paint next. Okay. With the skinny brush. So make sure it's cleaned off and dried off. And we're going to dip into a little bit of red paint. When I do that, he's getting one stripe right above the brim of the hat. So I'm just taking my brush and brushing right across, right on top of that little part right here that he has around his head. Okay, so he gets a little stripe, a little silk piece of a stripe there, right above the brim of that hat. Before you wash that off, we're gonna use some more red paint and give him a little scarf. 
Okay, so he gets a stripe on his hat up here with the same paintbrush, the same red paint. We're gonna do a little stripe right under his chin that curves underneath his chin. So it looks like it's a little scarf. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold it up close so you can see it. Okay, I've got red paint, just like that. And now I'm gonna do two lines that come down, just like that. Okay, so that's his scarf. He gets one little curved piece right under his chin, right where it meets that head meets the body, that egg shape that we made. I use the red paint and I just painted a little curved stripe. And then I did two lines coming down for his scarf, okay? How are we doing? Everyone keeping up on that? Thumbs up if yes. Excellent. Good. Okay, good. Very good. After you have the red paint on there, you're cleaning off and drying off that brush. Okay, we just have a couple more little things to do to finish this guy off. Okay, cleaning off and drying off that skinny brush. What I'm gonna do next is give him a little bit of a shadow behind him. So it'll make him look like he's sitting on the snow and not just floating. So when I do this, I'm gonna do it with a dark blue. Okay, on my skinny brush, and remember, I'm gonna hold it real close to the bristles, and I'm going to do this little line that runs along the side here. Can you see that? Just a little dark blue line that runs off to the side. And now I'm gonna give it a little bit of a loop like this, and then I'm gonna fill it all in. So this is just a little shadow right behind him on that snow. So he looks like he's sitting on the snow and not just floating in the air. Okay, so just like that, you see how it changes it and makes it look like he's got a little shadow? Okay, so I just did a little line that runs along the bottom here and then a little loop. And then I filled it all in in dark blue. And once you have that in there, we're cleaning off and drying off the brush for the grand finale of white dots. Okay, so I'm cleaning off and drying off the bristles of my brush. I wanna make sure that it has all the paint out of it. We're gonna use the other end again. We're gonna use the stick and you can use the handle of the other brush if you want to instead, if you want bigger dots, up to you. Okay, I'm gonna use white paint on the handle of my brush. Now, when I do this, he's getting white dots in a few spots. First, he's getting a white dot in each eye. One, two. Okay, so we should have a little white dot in each eye. That's gonna make him feel like he comes alive a little bit. Gets a little sparkle in his eye. Okay, and I'm taking that white paint. Now the grand finale here, we're at the big ending is we're gonna start the snowstorm, okay? So we're putting dots of white on the canvas and you can do them kind of covering the hat if you want to, like it's snowing right in front of the snowman. You can do them in the background on the blue and dot them really anywhere. And you can have as little or as many as you like, okay? So you're gonna keep dotting those in and when you're all done, you're gonna wipe off the handle of your paintbrush. Okay, so we're adding the snow in. And again, we're just dotting it in. You can put it wherever you want. You can put as much or as little as you want. You can have it overlap your snowman. And then we're doing this. We're wiping it off. That's the very, 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 oh, awesome, Max. Very nice. The very, very last step is you're gonna put your initials in the bottom corner. So the first letter of your first name, the first letter of your last name, and you can use any color you want. Do it over in the corner away from your snowman. And I'm gonna do it little, so it's not my whole name across there. So my initials are MD, Melissa DeJose. So 
first one is M for Melissa and then D for DeJose. And I'm putting those in the bottom corner and that's like signing your canvas, right? So when mom or dad hangs it up on the wall or grandma, you're gonna have your name on it and they'll know who painted it. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Have a good night. Thanks for painting with me.